most Americans will be having all that turkey goodness and then you're gonna be left with the leftovers. Well, don't fear because we got some really good ideas from my friend Luan of Primo Brothers Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Primo Brothers Pizza uh, to get your Italian fix with those lingering ingredients that you know you're gonna have. Now, I'm really curious on how you're gonna put this together with the leftovers. Well, it's important to have a good starting point, which would be the dough. Mm -hmm. You can come and pick some up from us oh, at really? Abrams and Forest behind CVS Pharmacy. Uh -huh. Or you can cheat and get some of that. I cheat a lot. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But so, I'd love to try yours. So, you know, we all love like Thanksgiving Day mm -hmm. because family comes over, everybody comes over, we have a lot of fun. Right. And then there's the next day, mm -hmm. and the you leftovers. And you want to eat that again. Well, you, you do want to eat it again because the, the, all the products have a chance to kind of sit around and really meld together with the flavors. That's true. And most people do the boring thing, which is a sandwich. Uh -huh. Right, so we're gonna do something different All and right. think outside well, the pizza box. Let's get to it. Let's get so to it. What we're gonna do? We're gonna grab our dough. All right. All right. Get that right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll it out. All right. Get your rolling pin. You could get the kids involved in this. They love to do stuff like that. Absolutely, the kids will keep you busy with this all day long. And you've been doing this since 1982, so you're kind of a professional at rolling this dough. I'm a professional <laughs> roll dough roller. A family-owned business here in Dallas. That's right. That's fantastic. And uh, so, all right, get that as flat as you can. Right. Does it need to be really large? No. Okay. Whatever size you want. All right. All right. So I'm going to get some stuffing. Mm -hmm. And of course, most of us suffer from dry turkey. And so, dry so stuffing. So what's the secret with the dry turkey? Gravy. Gravy. Uh-huh. Get that gravy in there. Nice. All right. Yeah, that looks great. And there's, you can always have more turkey. Yeah, I think you're going right? to need to really pack that thing. All right, I'll get some more in there. <laughs> Fill it up. There we go. Nice. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna just fold it over real nice and easy. And this is as easy as it, I mean, it's just so easy. It's easy, you right? say. We're making a calzone. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm gonna start to crimp it. All right. Because it's crucial that everything stays on the inside while it's cooking. Right. So imagine there's a point right there. Yes. And you're just gonna crimp it. Crimp it. In that direction. And just fold it in. All the way over. Okay. All the way around that corner. I don't think I'm going to be as quick as hey, you. You've done this before, I think. Well, a little bit, but not as much as there you, you have. I haven't been doing this since 1982, that's for <laughs> sure. Okay, so then you want to, oh, this is really kind of pretty. I'm kind of impressed with myself. I told you. There's just You're a little, right. few little secrets. So you just have to pretend there's a point there and you fold everything into the point. I got exactly, it. right nice. in that direction. How is that? That's Are beautiful. Good? Okay, it's not going to leak. It's all sealed up. No, it's sealed Perfect. up, right? Then yeah. it goes into the magic oven. Yeah. That's and what do we come out with? Something done, the of course. Thanksgiving leftover turkey calzone. Look how pretty that is. Turkey zone, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> turkey zone. <laughs> Cranberry sauce, crucial Thanksgiving elements. And everybody's going to have right? plenty of that leftover because exactly. it doesn't seem to get Make eaten it extra all up. pretty, Martha Stewart style. Oh my goodness, right? this is gorgeous. Yeah. And now you're serving up a meal the uh -huh. next day with your leftovers. Mm -hmm. So you just need to go get this this dough or come by and pick up your dough. And where are y'all located again? Abrams and Forrest. Abrams behind and Forrest. CBS Pharmacy. Can I, is this is this cooked enough that I can actually partake? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Okay. Abrams and, I'm sorry, one more time. Abrams and Forrest. <laughs> I was busy digging in. I would know exactly where you're at. just got to remember we're behind CVS yeah. Pharmacy. And your hours, what is that? We're open every day except Sunday. Are you going to be open Thanksgiving? No, we are closed on Thanksgiving because... You have a family too. We're eating turkey. All right, and you have a life too, right? That's right. That's fantastic. Okay, I just want to, just a little nibble here real quick. Right? Doesn't hold, get better. Hold, please. <laughs> Right? I like it. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's great. You really put the stuffing in that thing. That's yes, delicious. absolutely. Nice job. Thank you. Good, good job. Mm. All right. So you can take a try at this tricky day calzone. It's not a beat. This is a calzone. Or you can spring by, swing by Primo's Brothers and try one of their New York style pies. And for more details on how to make this yourself, go to thebroadcasttv.com. Click on today's links. My mouth is full, please excuse me. <laughs> All right, we've got more table talk and some great holiday gifts for the wine lovers in your life. Haley, our friend Haley is gonna share with you when we return, stay with us.